Hi, I'm Rob Sloan. I lead product marketing for Guidewire Cloud, and this session is about how you can unleash business value with Guidewire Cloud. And I'm Curtis McCosh. I'm the Global Practice Lead for the Cloud Platform at Guidewire. Thanks, Rob, for having me here, and thanks to all of you for listening in to this session. I've been with Guidewire for eight years, but next year marks my 40th year in the insurance industry. I've seen a lot of changes happen in that time frame, but perhaps no more so than in the last few years. It seems the industry is changing so dramatically at an ever-increasing pace. So I hope you'll enjoy this session as we talk about how the Guidewire Cloud Platform meets the needs not only that you have today, but the needs that you have in the future of which you may not even be aware. When you think about how platforms have changed whole industries, what comes to mind? Thanks, Rob. There's actually several, but it might be helpful to start with the definition. Often people hear the word platform and they naturally think of something like a building foundation, something strong on which to build everything else. Well, technology platforms are actually much more than that. For example, there's a big difference between placing a flower in a pot on a concrete slab and growing the flower in the soil. Technology platforms are the soil with those raw ingredients from which products and services emerge and grow in a new delivery model and with new capabilities. It is that time of year when flowers are blooming here in the Northern Hemisphere. What technology platforms come to mind? Well, there's several great examples. Uber and Lyft, Netflix and iTunes, Salesforce and Workday. And what each of these platforms did is they reinvented the delivery model of products and services for their respective industries. And Amazon Prime is a favorite example of mine. The product is still visual content and the service is still getting that content into the hands of the consumer but it's the new delivery model that changed that industry. And that delivery model is a big deal. I can remember how painful it was to change from CDs to iTunes to MP3s, and then Spotify and Pandora solved all of that. Exactly. Changing the delivery model meant consumers only had to buy the movie once, and it was now available on multiple devices, including laptops and tablets, so they could take it anywhere. And it was instantly available. No more running to the store and thumbing through racks of CDs, hoping it was in stock. But there were some important lessons to be learned from the media industry. Now that that transformation is largely complete and the streaming wars are in full swing, the media industry is pretty much back to focusing on media issues. That's correct. The difference is how the platform enables more than a change in the delivery model as well. For example, not only can you search for movies you want to watch, but now there's the capability to recommend other things you may be interested in watching, and that's available using advanced analytics. Another new capability is delivering data to producers of what people watch, who watches it, and when. In fact, Amazon Prime uses that very information themselves to determine what content of their own to create. So this is what a technology platform does. It changes the delivery model of products and services in a compelling and innovative way and it enables other capabilities that were not previously available or even contemplated. Okay, now let's shift our focus to the Guidewire Cloud Platform and how it's helping insurers transform. Sure, like other technology platforms, Guidewire Cloud fundamentally shifts from bespoke software running at each company to software as a service, often referred to as SaaS. Now in a SaaS solution, customers run as much of the same software as possible but they don't have to give up things that make them unique. But that uniqueness is no longer in the software code, it's turned into something called metadata. And that's what the software reads to tell it how to behave. It's a fundamental component of SaaS software. Also, the interaction with that SaaS software is done through tools, APIs, and services. Now this creates somewhat of a shield, if you will, where changes internally to that software do not impact things from the outside and vice versa. And lastly, the cloud is the best place to run SaaS software, really to take advantage of its scalable and managed infrastructure. Now, what does that specifically mean for our customers? Well, a couple of key benefits emerge, notably no more upgrades and reducing the impact of change. First, the upgrades. With a SaaS solution, Guidewire does them. We've completed 10 of them this past year and have nearly a dozen planned for next year. Those upgrades are a lot easier for ourselves and for our customers. This means we can do more of them so customers can be on the latest software taking advantage of the latest capabilities. Consider in the past where customers typically upgraded maybe every three to five years or even more. 
And second, the goal of something called non-breaking changes where our updates don't impact a customer's broader ecosystem. Again, all of that being part of that SaaS shield, if you will. That means a savings in testing alone is significant, but even more so, the reduction in cost of downtime and risk is greatly reduced. And how does that change the way our customers work day to day? Well, they can spend a lot less time upgrading and maintaining our software and spend a lot more time innovating for the business. A couple of examples, Mobilitas is a new company that launched a new line of commercial auto insurance for mobility risks in less than four months, and they signed Lyft as their first major customer. And with Aviva Italy, they launched a new direct-to-consumer line in less than 100 days to completely transform that end-user customer experience. Kurt, what are some key capabilities that could only be built as a cloud service? Well, first, a marketplace of service providers and integrations using a standard set of APIs and services. Again, with SaaS, knowing that internal changes to our software will not impact them. Second, Jutro. This is our metadata-driven digital solution, and it greatly speeds up the delivery of the user experience and in multiple flavors. And third, an end-to-end -end data and analytics strategy. Can you explain how Guidewire Cloud is helping us turn our data and analytics strategy into a reality for our customers? Sure. There are four things that are needed to provide an end-to-end -end data and analytics strategy. First, an explosion of automated decisions, and here's why. To meet the needs being placed on our customers, both now and in the future, we need to enable the automation of workflows on a much broader scale. And that automation will have decision points that, let's face it, if it was easy, our customers would have already done it through rules in the core system. The level of automation needed today requires automated decisions that are complex, and that requires advanced analytics and machine learning. Second, more data. To scale up advanced analytics decision points at a greater scale means more predictive models, and those models require data. But often, there's not enough internal data to yield a high enough confidence level in that decision. This means adding as much external data as possible to internal data to achieve that confidence in order to automate that decision. Third, to keep pace with the changes in the industry. It means refreshing of that data in predictive models at a much more rapid cadence. And finally, fourth, to learn from those experiences and to feed those back into the next iteration of that loop. This enables things like continuous underwriting and A-B hypothesis testing. So these four steps creates really this looping process, if you will, to automate the delivery of analytics at scale. In fact, we call it closed loop analytics. Kurt, you've covered a lot from Guidewire keeping the service current to accelerating product launches, and now closed loop analytics. How does all of this translate to business innovation? Great question, Rob. And at its simplest, the Guidewire Cloud Platform should enable our customers to meet whatever the industry throws at them next. For example, there's increasing demand on insurance companies to provide very new and compelling user experiences when having a claim, buying a policy, or paying their bill. We saw this with Aviva Italy. And those compelling experiences require more end-to-end -end automation. In fact, some of our customers have adopted the position of, let's automate until we can't. Secondly, there are changes in risk that are driving the need for new and innovative products. These will need to be delivered in record time. And the assessment of risks that have never been written before is critical. That requires advanced analytics and external data to enable those new insurance products. So with the Guidewire Cloud Platform, we feel confident we will meet not only the needs that our customers have today, but those future needs and demands, many of which they may not even be aware of yet. So can you give us some examples of how this has helped our customers so far? Yes. So Claims Autopilot was built from the ground up as a new capability using the Guidewire Cloud Platform. It combines Jutro for the user experience, integrations, of course, APIs with Claims Center, and advanced embedded analytics to automate the claims intake workflow. From the soil of those platform components emerged an entirely new capability in record time. Advanced Product Designer is another example where the product is designed in business terms, turned into metadata, which in turn tells the software how to behave with this new product, generates a Jutro user experience, automatically generates those APIs to access that new product, 
and delivers those new data elements into the data platform for use in closed loop analytics. There's also a session of connections on usage-based insurance that I encourage people to hear, which is another great example of how the platform is that soil that enables products and services to emerge, grow, and be delivered in record time. I love how you brought this back to your flower bed analogy. And to be clear, what does this transformation mean for insurers? <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Well, customers still need to service claims and develop new insurance products. They still need to sell policies and apply payments. The industry continues to change at an ever-increasing rate, and the need to deliver new products and services to meet future demands is obviously critical to remain competitive. The platform doesn't really change those business needs, but like other industries, it changes how well they are done. Thanks, Kurt. We've covered a lot in this session, and I want to wrap up by reminding our viewers that with Guidewire Cloud, you're able to make your next upgrade your last upgrade, launch new products and services fast, and leverage closed-loop analytics to drive insights.